look. Seasons change, people change, change is bound to happen. Change your clothes, change your Facebook relationship status. He's a Southern white rapping pastor who likes to play tennis. And you're gonna come down on it. Probably one of the most awkward interviews yet. Justin Bieber plays tennis. Up next on Miss Congeniality. Hello and welcome to Miss Congeniality. I'm your host, Jamie Doris, and today's special guest is a man you have to see to believe. He's a white rapping pastor. Yes, you heard me correctly. A total stereotype stomper this guy is, and I'm about to bring him to you right now. Let me tell you what, this guy is redefining rap by bringing the gospel to a completely new demographic. Help me welcome Hunter Myrick, the one and only, to the show. <clears throat> I, I could see you. Hi! Oh, what up, what up, what up? Is this a handshake? Is, is, that, is that what we're doing? Okay, hey, I'm Hunter. Hi, Hunter, I'm Jamie, nice to nice meet to you. Nice to meet you too, nice to meet you too. Come in. Oh, okay, come in, come in. So, this is the uh, dining room in the kitchen, right here. Did, What's did we like interrupt a prayer session? No, you didn't, this was from earlier this morning. I was just having a little Bible study. Oh, oh, oh. He looks kind of evil. Yeah, take a look at all those. Yeah, Your stepmom yeah, does yeah, yeah. Santa's. Apparently. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. Can we sit down and do an actual interview with you and get to know you a little of more? Let's do it. Okay, well, show me where we can sit. Um, <laughs> quick, mannequin <laughs> challenge. <laughs> So why she in the city? <laughs> that girl is a real crowd pleaser. <laughs> They're from Mississippi. This is, you go first, right? I'm in your house. <laughs> to interview me. What do you do for a living, Hunter? What do I do for a living? Um, I am a youth pastor at a church in Petal, Asbury United Methodist. Um, I've been there for about 15 months now. and uh. I also am a hip hop artist. There's a battle going on inside me, a war that's waging. There's a battle going on inside me, and I can't explain it. Look, all I know is I keep doing all these things that I don't want to do. I can't fight it on my own, Jesus, I need you. There's a battle going on inside me, a war that's waging. Yo, I'm conflicted by the How are you both? Can you please help me tell me I work. From the morning to about four o'clock, five o'clock, and then uh, then it's time for the music. Did you rap back in high school, and when did you get started with it? Uh, so well, I got started with it probably when I was about ten years old. I started writing uh, lyrics for the first time. Yeah, when you were ten? Yeah, I was ten. So uh, my uncle, I, I don't, I guess I had never really even been introduced to the hip hop genre, um, and my uncle he played a Bone Thugs and Harmony song for me. Um, it might have been actually Mo Thugs because it was Ghetto Cowboy. Um, and I heard that and uh, just fell in love with the genre. Started writing my own lyrics, um, probably around 10, yeah. And then continued Rap writing. Rap lyrics. Yeah, and, and one thing I can remember is being in fifth grade and, and being up on the little balcony at the school I went to and reading some lyrics to my friends like while we were going in from recess. Um, what did that sound like? Do you remember? <laughs> it's funny because I actually do. Okay, like, do it. <laughs> Fifth grade. <laughs> fifth grade, fifth grade. It was like, something like, I'm so fly, I got more money than all the world can acquire, I think I said. Uh, compared to me, MJ can't even qualify. No matter what it is, homie, I can buy it, because I'm in fifth grade and I got a lot of money, right? Um, may not be optimistic, but that's all right, because living this life by Mr. Do or Die, no one can catch me, not even the FBI. Still remember it to this day, I don't know how. And you wrote that when you were 10? I was, well, fifth grade, however old that is. Because I can remember, like, reading it off this paper to my friends on, yeah. Well, how did they take it? How did they look at you? I mean, I, I hate to be obvious, but you're a white guy? Yeah. It's kind of a stereotype um, there. You know, they were kind of, like, cool. But, uh, so then, but after that, I, when I was in middle school, um, I was in Laurel. And, uh, the middle school I went to was probably, like, 97% black. Um, and so that's when it really got fun because freestyling in class, the guys would be freestyling and I'd be like, let me, let me get a turn. And uh, they would, they enjoyed it. They called me white chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, 
You know what you remind me of? Eminem. Do you get that often? Never. I get Jesus, like, because of the hair, I guess, the beard. I don't know what it is. My hair is on my beard. Yeah, never got Eminem. Do you know any Eminem lyrics? Uh, yeah. Okay, can you sing some Eminem? I mean, like, because to me, you're like Slim Shady. You're old Slim Shady, I don't, but, uh, the... No, Jamie, it's like... You better lose yourself in the music, music the, the moment, moment you own it. You better never let it go. You, you only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better lose yourself. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> that was, uh, that was Boom Mike Jen. So have you always been a Christian rapper? Or was there ever a time that you were, I guess, more of an R&B kind of hip hop rapper? Uh, so... Grew up in the church, but uh, I did not know the Lord um, until I was 20. Uh, so I was never, a, and, and I still, it's, it's funny because people are like, you're a Christian hip hop artist. I'm like, no, I'm just a hip hop artist um, because I never want the label to keep people uh, who maybe have a bad taste in their mouth um, due to something, uh, keep them from hearing the message that I have because of the label Christian. How do you think that affects you when you are at, when you're being a pastor to the youth? The music side mm -hmm. of it? Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's cool because I, I guess the way my mind works as a music artist um, is it kind of leaves way for me to kind of do things a little differently. Um, sometimes I even catch flack just for not maybe sticking to the, the youth pastor agenda, but um, uh, sometimes we'll, we'll open up worship on a Wednesday night um, with one of my songs or something like that. Uh, so it's, it's cool. Here's an odd question, okay. but it's one that we ask everyone. What is your hidden talent? I can play tennis. <laughs> I can play tennis. So. Hold on. Can I get a sucker? Justin Bieber plays tennis. Drake dated a tennis player or something? Can I have Halloween candy? You gonna laugh at me? More? Nah, go ahead. <clears throat> Can you teach me how to play tennis? Cause I don't know how to play tennis. I think I could do a little, a little something like that. You can? Yeah. Okay, well is there a tennis court or somewhere around uh, here? Like pretty much in my front yard. Really? Yeah. Well let's go. Look what I got. Pulled him out of my car. Wow. Wow. What are, you, what are we doing with them? What do you think? We're gonna play tennis. All right. Can you teach me? Can I, I use the penguin? That's mine. This is smaller. Okay, so you need the small one, right? No, I, I need the bigger one. <laughs> okay, you can have the pink. All right, thanks. You really want the pink? Yes. Okay, all right, and I you got mean, balls yes. too. Yes. Was that loud enough, Boom Mike Jen? All right, I'm gonna hit one in the air. This is called a volley. Okay. So it's gonna be over your head. And you're gonna come down on it and just smash it. Yeah. You ready? Let it bounce. Oh, that was almost really good. Let's try it again. like a volleyball. Yeah, like a spike, but it's not. Boom. Oh, wow. You play tennis, don't you? I'm just good at everything. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, let's work on some serves. How about that? Where did you learn how to play tennis? Where, where, where did you learn how to play tennis? Uh, I did. I just one time I was out hitting. I when I lived in Laurel, uh, they were practicing. My friends, I was in seventh grade, and I was hitting with them. And the coach was like, "Hey, you got to play now." And it's okay. Got it. I'm ready. Uh oh. Oh. So what is this I hear about you living in Nicaragua? I traveled there. Did I say it right? Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Yeah, that was good. Ni ni Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Okay. Yeah. Don't space that out. Nicaragua. Yes, yeah, all at once. Okay. You, you traveled trouble. there. Uh, yes, I did. I went there April of 2015. Yeah. Uh, just felt like I was supposed to go there. Told my dad. He said, okay, cool. Bought a plane ticket. And, uh, I went. How long were you there? Ten days. 
10 days. Mm -hmm. Do you speak Spanish? A little bit. Habla Espanol? King. Un poco, a little. Man. Yeah, a little bit. <coughs> but I almost did live there. I actually applied to a college there and everything. You know, I speak Portuguese. Do you? Which is not the same as Spanish. It's not. You've been teaching me some tennis. Okay. It's my turn to teach you some Portuguese. All right. Um, say, meu nome é Hunter. Meu nome é Hunter. Perfect. Perfect. My name is Hunter. Perfect. Not too different from Spanish. Eu sou Jamie. Is that, how they, is that how they shake hands? No. Mwah. 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 Brazé em Quincilo. Brazé em Quincilo. Brazé em Quincilo. Brazé em Quincilo. Perfect. Perfecto. All right, where are we going now? Isn't it like time for us to get back to the chapel? I think, yeah, because we have to shoot a music video. Twix moment? Yeah, it is. Chew it over with a Twix. Are you sponsored by... Oh, Did you just take my Twix and eat it? <laughs> Let's go! Are, are we going to the chapel to get married? Are you married? Yes. No. I'm a pastor. You're a pastor? Yeah, can't do that. Oh. <laughs> you know, we were talking we about We can marry somebody. You can marry somebody? Not legally. Oh. <laughs> well, then let's not do that! We, we were passing the chapel and I was like, go to the chapel and go on and get married. That must okay. be before my time. You don't know that song? I don't. I know Marry Me by Train. That's more like my generation. Marry Me? Yeah. Oh, marry me today and every day. No, I don't think that's, no. How many tattoos do you have? Eight. Eight? Yeah. Oh my, where are they all? We're on camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like my chest and my back and my wrist and my finger and my arm. You can stop there. Okay. <laughs> That's actually it. <laughs> oh, honey. Did you bring these for me? Ooh, you look kind of good in those. Yeah? Yeah, those are mine, though. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you can wear them okay. as long as you don't mind, you know, the fungus and, and, and bacteria. And no, I have the same disorder, so. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh, amazing grace. How sweet the sound <clears throat> that saved a wretch like me. I'm gonna let you hit that one, yeah. That's good. Keep going. Keep going. I, I was, was, was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now. This is it's kind of a weird key. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is, yeah. Um, Ooh. <clears throat> where are we at? Um, uh, yeah, let's pick another song. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm okay, a rapper, not a singer. But. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, you're a rapper, so why don't you play us one of your favorite hits, and I'm going to sing along. Your one favorite of, of your own hits. Of my own? Of your own, yeah. Okay, so this is this is straight off the microphone, like it hadn't been mixed or anything. Like It's not like a full version. It's okay, and I, I won't judge you. I wrote it yesterday, so I don't know if I actually know the words. <laughs> so, you you wrote like it yesterday, person. and you're just starting to to record a video today. Right. Go, yeah, I know. Um, but you wrote it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Okay, look. Somebody asked me when the deal coming. They really wondering when the meal coming. They hate to hear that I don't plan to sign. Yeah. And I ran with mine. Sound by sound records, about to start up the label. I heard one too many fables, I can't trust what they saying. Plus I heard some local talent. On a couple occasions, told them if I get some paper, I'ma put them on papers. I might make a toast to dinner. With my foot on the table. On my Luke 6, baby, I got love for my haters. Birds call the place with me. And we play from the wind. Say I told you I might not know the words yet. Run it again, and so we and so we ran it again. Christmas round the corner about to see the family again. I'ma eat what they cook and I'm when I'm through. Then I'm home to spend my New Year's Eve with my boo. Yeah. Got me preaching it too. They have them eating at noon. Did it almost fall again? No, I hit it. Oh, this is a good part. Look. They heard I started rapping again. They heard that I was at it again. Then they heard me talking about my supply. And I never heard them laughing again. 
We need to, we need to, if we, it's kind of quiet, but we can still act like it's loud and dance. Do it, take your hands off the whip. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Actually tap. I can't tell if that's a robot or it's actually Henderson. This isn't safe. Yeah, we, we stopped, you know. Well, folks, um, I think that's all the time we have now with uh, the Mr. Uh, Hunter, uh, the, what'd you call yourself? The YH Sound guy. Um, no, how would you say it? YH Sound? Yeah, without the guy. Just YH Sound. Yeah. The Christian rapper, pastor, yeah. guy from Hattiesburg. Gulfport Laurel. Gulfport Laurel. Live and pedal. Most awkward interview ever. <laughs> Gonna get the most hits. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any idea of someone we could interview next time, please drop me a line and let me know. Sorry, promotion. Until next time. Bye. I know one thing. We know one thing. And we're dancing that way. You will never change, Lord. This way. You will never change, Lord. You will never change, you will never change, you will never change, Lord. I said, You will never change, Lord. Yeah, I need a hype, man. You will never change, Lord. Yeah, uh huh. I said, You will never change, you will never change, you will never change. You remember now? That's right, that's right. You will never change, no.